Hey, good evening, chess lovers, and welcome back. I wanted to show y'all um, a game that I played against uh, Serto. Uh, he's a strong player, uh, 2210. Uh, we played a, a bullet uh, chess match, and of course, I played the Black Lion. I played as black, he played as white. So, without further ado, let's actually get started. Uh, he plays knight f3, I go d6, d4, knight d7, c4, and then e5. This is pretty much the start of the black lion. He um, doesn't take, he just puts the pawn at d5, which wasn't a problem, which is why I pushed on pawn c6. The whole point of um, c6 is so if he goes knight c3, um, if he takes this pawn, for instance, if he takes this pawn, I take this pawn, and he goes to knight c3, he won't be able to go to um, d5. So that's the whole point of that. All right, so after I go to c6, he goes e4, and then um I go queen c7. Um, the whole point of um queen c7 is just uh, you know, it's not really a development move. It just pretty much supporting on um, this pawn, especially if I take. Um, knight c3 is played, on uh, h6, and it's not just to prevent the um the bishop from coming to g5, but of course we want to push that g5 pawn for a pawn storm. So bishop d3, uh, a5, only go to a5 just in case if he try to go rook b1 or if he try to go a3, you know. So this is one of the principles. You always got to go a5 just to prevent him from doing any type of queenside play. All right, so he castles kingside, go knight f6, rook e1. He's just developing. A lot of stuff he's doing is pretty passive, so I go bishop e7, uh, knight d2, and I go g5. And remember, if y'all see my last video, uh, you usually only supposed to go g5 if um, the pawn goes to h3. But for me, I've been uh, I seem to be breaking a, a lot of rules lately, and because of it, I still been winning. So I still recommend playing g5 since he already castled and he ain't go h3 yet. To me, it's still good. Uh, he goes knight f1. Now on the engine, the engine rather me play something like knight c5 and everything and then if he goes on um, bishop c2 then uh, I have um, a4 or actually not a4 but um, he told me to castle but I don't really want the castle only due to the fact that I want to have this rook on his g8 so I can attack on his g file but that's what the engine was talking about but I didn't really like that line so I decided to go uh, knight f8. When he went, he goes knight f1, I go knight f8. I want to do knight g6 and then knight f4. Uh, g3 is played, I go knight g6. Uh, he takes the pawn, I take it. I'm actually happy with the position because now the knight can't go to b5 and he can't go to d5. So that's actually uh, great for me. Uh, f4 was played, which was actually bad on his part because now he just uh, opened his king side all the way. So anytime somebody do this to you, you're going to automatically take. He takes. Uh, I actually go rook g8, though, but um, the correct move was actually uh, taking a pawn. Um, our time was kind of uh, low and everything. Well, not really that low, but um, I was pre-moving. But I really wanted to um, take this pawn, but uh, I pre-moved this um, rook g8 move. And the move that he played was um, king h1. I go bishop g4, which is not a bad move, but the best move was on e catches f4. But I do want to show you something else, though. Um, after the um, the rook g8, if he did decide to go um, f5, um, the plan that I had was uh, knight f4. And then if he comes here, then I still got this uh, knight g4 move. And obviously, the bishop can't take because I got a knight f2 check, and I'll be winning this queen. It's not even just winning the queen, but this would be checkmate anyway. <laughs> you know, so that was one of the tricks uh, that I had, or whatever, if he did something like that. Alright, so in this position, after rook g8, he goes king h1, I go bishop g4, uh, bishop b2, and I go bishop h3. He finally goes to f5, and then I go knight h4, threatening bishop g2 check. Um, he goes knight g3, 
and go bishop g2. And then after king g1, this pretty much was all over. Because as you see, the knight can't go to f1, and he can't go here, and he definitely can't take this knight, because this knight on h4 is actually supporting his bishop on g2. So after queen b6 check, he's pretty much um, about to be mated, and there's nothing he can do to stop it. So of course, as you see, c5, you try to it with that, I just take anyway. And then after bishop b3, it's checkmate. So there you have it, man, on um, the black lion. So when y'all look at this game, definitely uh, remember um, the moves that I said. Remember the order. Remember the principles as well. So, guys, if y'all really like this video, please like, share, and comment. And also, do not forget to subscribe. All right, y'all. Peace.